So I'm going to start with my dual sided crown brush. Um, I'm going to be using the smaller end, the pointed end, and I'm going to be taking, I'm sorry, I don't have the name as always, this blue right here, this is what it looks like, um, and I'm going to be really just centering that in my crease and around my eye. Okay, so once you have a basic outline like this, you're just going to want to smoke that out. Um, use any blending brush. I'm going to be using my Anastasia A12 brush. I'm going to dip into that and literally just go inside the center and go back and forth. Okay, so I'm going to go back in with the flatter tip of this brush and I'm just going to really accentuate the crease. And while I'm here, I do want to talk about something that bothers me a lot that I feel like no one talks about. I might be wrong, but as far as I'm concerned, I haven't like watched any videos or like seen anyone like talking about this. I really hate the stigma surrounding beauty gurus, I guess you could say. I think we all know what I'm talking about. Well, at least people who like are are aware of like YouTube and the beauty side of YouTube. I feel like anyone who does makeup on YouTube automatically gets this like label like that we're like followers or sheep or just not authentic. Um, I feel like there are sheep in any industry. Like don't get me wrong, there are plenty of sheep in the beauty industry. I totally understand that. Like I do agree. But I just like really hate that there's like such a like stereotype on people who do their makeup. It really just undervalues people's creativity and artistic abilities. And I'm not trying to sound like all like, you know, like preach bitch, but it really just does need to be said. At the end of the day, makeup is art. Makeup is a craft. It is a skill and not everyone is good at it. It takes practice and people kind of take it as a joke really I feel like most people do especially guys I'm gonna take the flatter part of this brush again and I'm gonna go into the inner corners and outer corners of my eye we're gonna try to center this look on the center of the eye so yeah in a nutshell I just feel like it's super fucking like whack to make fun of another person for doing what they love to do like I just don't understand how that's a problem people are like looked down upon or just like made fun of for doing makeup and maybe you guys haven't experienced it but I've definitely seen it a lot even like youtubers and other um, categories like just comedy or vlogs like I feel like they always like have something to say about youtubers that do their makeup as if what they do doesn't count or it's not a talent or it's not time-consuming um, like I said, I understand that there's a lack of authenticity because you have like younger girls um, watching these videos and you know, for, for many, the girls that they watch are like their inspirations or whatever. I'm going to take Fair in the Anastasia Contour Cream Kit with any concealer brush and I'm going to basically cut the crease but not fully, just in the center. Now I'm gonna take the MAC 208 brush, literally any angled brush you can use for this. Um, this might not even be necessary, I'm just using this to, to sharpen up my cut crease. Oh yeah, and going back to what I was saying, I'm sick and tired of people trying to act like girls only do their makeup because they're insecure. That is the biggest pile of bullshit I have ever heard and excuse my language I know I cuss a lot people have told me um in real life but sorry not sorry like that's just who I am I'm I'm not gonna change it um and as for the whole like younger audience thing I'm gonna be 100% honest with you I don't care to have a younger audience um because that would just that would just mean that I have to like put on this front and ultimately, I want people my age or older to watch my videos. So I'm not too concerned about that. 
Um, but I do apologize for my cursing if anyone younger accidentally stumbles upon this video. But anyway, going back to what I was saying. Um, when people say that girls only do their makeup because they're insecure, like, I will never fully wrap my head around that. Maybe like 10% of girls, maybe a very, very slim percentage of girls do their makeup because they're insecure. But going back to the thing I was saying, the artistic value is so like overlooked. Yeah, any other creator on YouTube, I feel like they don't get half as much shit as beauty gurus get. Um, you know, I just feel like um, people in the beauty industry are like the laughing stock of YouTube or something. And it really fucking pisses me off because we have some boss bitches in the beauty industry, such as like Jenny69. Um, Jeffree Star is very controversial, but the fact that he did come from essentially nothing in the beauty industry, he now owns a multi million dollar company. You know, like entrepreneurs, like um, Patrick Starr, you know, like all of them, they are real, like, business women and men that made it just like anyone else could have, but they don't get any respect because it's makeup. I just will never understand that. This video is actually gonna take a turn because originally I had this, like, one idea in my head, but now I'm just like, mm, I wanna try something else. So this might be a complete fail, but I'm gonna try to do a glitter liner. I kind of did mess up on my wing, but yeah, we're just going to clean that up under the wing with concealer. And now here is going to be the moment of the truth. I'm literally so scared to see how this is going to end up. So I'm going to take this tiny eyeliner brush. Okay, so I'm going to be using my e.l.f. glitter primer. And this little eyeliner brush, I'm going to... Put that literally just over my eyeliner a little bit at a time and I'm going to be using the MAC Pigment Reflex Pink, I think it is called. That was basically just to outline the eyeliner now. I'm going to go in with, wow this is like really close. Now I'm going to go in with Beauty Creations. And um, it's the glitter called a Lavender Love. I'm gonna go in with the same glitter glue. I'm gonna dip into the glitter and go over the places that I put the MAC pigment on. Just for a little bit more pop. Okay, so once you've got your glitter liner how you want it, we're gonna start on our face. And so obviously we're going to prime first. I'm gonna use the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer. And I'm just gonna put that in my T-zone. Next, I'm gonna be grabbing what's left of my Makeup Forever Ultra HD Stick. Um, this is in the shade Y315. And I'm just gonna... Then I'm gonna go in with my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation in a buff bisque. Okay, now I'm gonna be going in with my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade Porcelain. So I'm gonna put that on my T-zone. Once you have blended that out, I'm gonna take the Wet n Wild Contouring Palette Contour, go in with the light shade as usual, and do my T-zone. I'm going to be taking the Anastasia Contour Palette in shade Light and I'm going to use my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush and I'm going to go in with this one and this one which are Hava and Light Sculpt I believe. So I'm going to dip into those. I'm going to be taking the same brush I usually use to contour my nose. And I'm going to go in with Hava, which is the lightest shade, I believe, to contour. I'm also going to take my Translucent Powder, which is the Airspun one. And I'm going to put it in the same places that I'm putting this powder in. I'm going to be taking the MAC eyeshadow in shade Passionate and I'm going to grab a MAC 547 SE brush. I'm going to 
gonna dip in there and just go under my eyes. To make that pink pop even more, I'm going to be taking this MAC pigment. I don't know what it's called. It's super bright pink. I'm probably not even using it right. Um, I'm gonna wet the same brush that I was using. I'm gonna dip in there and go underneath my eyes. I'm gonna go in with the MAC Reflex Pink again. Of course, wet your brush before this. I'm just gonna pop that right in the middle. You guys will see it once I'm in a little bit better lighting. I will show you guys. I'm gonna grab my MAC Black Eye Pencil and put that on my upper waterline and on my lower waterline. Now I'm gonna be taking my Vanilla Pigment and Reflex Gold and I'm gonna put that right in the center of my eye. I'm going to grab the MAC 116, 116 brush and I'm going to go in with the blush I used last time for my Christmas Eve tutorial, which I still don't know the name of, and I'm going to put that on the apple of my cheeks. Now I'm going to be taking my MAC 184 brush, I believe it's a fan brush, oh my god my hair is a mess. Um, it's a fan brush, and I'm just going to put that on the high points of my face. And I'm also going to take um, my Becca Highlight and Champagne Pop and go over that. Now I'm going to be taking my go-to favorite lip liner ever, Max Boldly Bare. I'm going to line my lips. Oh my gosh, I'm such a hot mess. I'm like moving on to my lips and we haven't even applied eyelashes. So I'm going to apply these lashes off camera real quick and then I'll be right back um, showing you guys what I'm going to do for my lips. Okay guys, so the lashes are on and I kind of have an idea of what I'm going to do for the lips, but we'll see how it's going to turn out. So I'm going to start by using... Um, the Butterscotch Lip Gloss by Anastasia. I'm going to put that all over my lips. Now I'm going to grab my NYX Intense Butter Gloss in the shade Funnel Delight. I'm going to put that right in here. Okay, so this is the end of the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed this color moment here um this was my first time doing like a colorful look i guess you could say for my youtube channel even though i only have two videos but i do hope you guys got something out of this video if so please make sure to like and subscribe i don't know if i already said that but if i didn't there you go my nail polish kind of matches my eyes which is pretty cool because that was not planned um, yeah, and I hope to see you guys on the next video.